Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to be that girl in Christ, that girl who flourishes in her purpose, that girl who flourishes in her femininity. So today we are going to be talking about Jael and Deborah, two wonderful, fearless, brave women in the Bible that God uses to fulfill prophecy because they were that girl to say yes to the Lord. With that being said, I also created a free downloadable resource so you lovely ladies can be that girl to flourish in your purpose, that girl to grow in your femininity. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump. Say, let's go, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no Alright ladies, so tip number one to being that girl is to know that God uses anyone. So in the story of Judges chapter 4 through 5, we see Deborah who is a wonderful woman, who is a prophet, a judge in Israel, wife, woman who fulfills multiple roles. But then we also see Jael who is a wife who lives in a tent. So you have two wonderful God-fearing ladies from one extreme to the other. So remember, it doesn't matter who you are, what you have, God will use you. He is just wanting you to be a willing vessel. Just say yes to him and he will use you. Find comfort in knowing that God uses a lady who lives in the tent to fulfill prophecy find comfort in the fact that there is a woman prophet who is also a wife who is also a judge she is a working mother and wife so my second tip being that girl is to follow your purpose and nurture your gifts so we're gonna look at deborah deborah is the one who is a prophet and a judge because she said yes to her roles of being a wife of being a judge of being a prophet that's her purpose. She was able to allow another woman, Jael, to fulfill the prophecy. You saying yes to your purpose allows someone else, another woman of God, to say yes to their purpose. Because Deborah prophesied that a woman would defeat the enemy. Because she prophesied, because she prophesied. She told everyone what God was going to do. It was the ball that set everything into motion. Because she said yes and she heard what God told her, Jael was able to finish that prophecy, to bring that into fruition. So follow your purpose. Follow your purpose and cultivate your gifts that God has given you, whether that's you being a prayer warrior or if you might be like Deborah who is able to prophesy, cultivate those gifts. Follow your purpose because your purpose, you saying yes depends on someone else being able to use their purpose. We are the body of Christ. We work as one. Now tip number three into becoming that girl in Christ, that girl who flourishes in her purpose is using what you have. Now we see in Judges that Jael, the woman who fulfills prophecy, the woman who takes down the enemy, uses what she has. She uses what she has in her tent to take down the enemy. So if God is calling you to start a ministry, start the ministry, use what you have, use your iPhone. If God is calling you to start a faith-based YouTube channel, start that YouTube. Because you saying yes to your purpose, you using what you have, is all depending on you saying yes. Use what you have. You don't see Jael saying, Lord, I don't have a sword. I don't have a weapon. I live in a tent. No, she said, this is wrong. And I know who the God, I know who the King of Kings is, and this is wrong. And she was brave enough to use what she had. She used a peg in her tent, a peg that she used from her tent to take him down. She didn't say, Lord, I'm not going to do it. I am not equipped to be that woman, to fulfill prophecy. She said, yes, sir. And she used anything and everything she could find. She was brave, ladies. And my fourth tip into becoming that woman that girl that is to celebrate each other's victories. In the story of Deborah and Jael, you see that 
Jael would be praised in a song that Deborah sings. You see that in Judges 5, 6 where Deborah is singing a praise song to the king of kings and she praises Jael for taking the enemy down, for saying yes to her purpose. Celebrate each other's victories, praise each other. They worked together. Who would have thought two totally different women worked together to bring down the enemy and there was peace in Israel for 40 years. Ladies, so celebrate each other's victories. Give an encouraging word to that friend that you know has a gift. Uplift them, uplift them. Your words of encouragement can be the difference between the girl saying, I am done with this ministry. It's too much for me. To saying, you know what? I have a support system. I have a support system behind me. They're cheering me on. And I have God on my side. I'm going to keep going. I am going to go through the valley. Ladies, so check up on your friends. Give them a word of encouragement. Speak life into them. Be that girl who's rooting for her best friend to get up and keep fighting. So we are at the end of the video. I hope you girlies enjoy this video so much. As well, don't forget the free downloadable resource that will be in the description down below. Just click more and it will be right down there. We'll see you guys next time. I love each and every one of you guys. Bye.